Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you are new to the channel, a warm welcome. Uh, my name is Tristan Mortlock and this is Captain's Vlog. Now, in today's video isn't a very elegant video. We're currently in the chef's and engineer's cabin. There's an issue with the toilet. It's not flushing correctly. It's flushing, the water's going down, but it doesn't feel or sound right. So at the moment, Slavin is gonna get to the engine room to get some tools. As in come back and we have to take the take this toilet off and then inside there will be an electric motor with an impeller and we think there's either an issue with the impeller something caught around the impeller but the issue that we're having is the one of the bolts here is this bolt here is is turning but the sorry the um the bolt is turning but the nut is turning with it so we've had to remove the floor in the cabin here. And then when we get, so Slav has gone to get uh, an extra long um, spanner and go under there, connect the spanner under there, and then use the Allen key to unscrew, to unscrew from here. So hopefully we can get, uh, get, those, get those off. There's a way for him to come back. Just for your information, while we are here, you may remember this is actually the starboard side fresh water tank access. So you can see this being put back on, the car's being painted, all bolted back together. We've got the gasket here, the rubber gasket, that's brand new as well. So that's all nicely sealed. And then for those of you that are wondering what this is, this is the earthing connection. So it prevent any electrolysis. So that gets earth to the, to the, um, uh, to the anodes, the sacrificial anodes on the boat. So basically what the earthing does, it prevents any um, electrolysis or any chewing of like the hard metals we've got. So the anodes we've got is zinc and zinc is a softer iron and being a softer iron, it will start um, deteriorating before the harder irons that we have on board, on board this vessel. Um, so it's a way of slamming to come back and then once he's back, we'll start removing these bolts and screws, take the toilet off, inspect the pump, inspect the, the impeller or the macerator, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so I'm going to show you guys this video, not very elegant, uh, but it's everyday life on board uh, super yachts. Um, just to show, show you guys the real life of crew and, uh, you know, we're, we're a team on board, so we help out in all departments. And uh, today it's me helping out the uh, one of the dirtiest jobs on board, but uh, happy to do it. And you never stop learning, always learning, which is the important thing on board and keeping the team spirit alive. All right, so now let's go wait for Slavin. So guys, here with Slavin. So basically yeah. what's happening, this is one of the screws that he's taken out and on the other side, the inside of the nut has gone into the wood, therefore it doesn't rotate. Whereas the nut on the other screw is below the wood, so on the surface of the wood, so when we try and unscrew from the top, the nut is going around with it. So he's somehow magically, he's gonna crawl under this gap here, connect on the spanner, and then I'll be using the Allen key, which is, a makeshift tool. <laughs> what do we think, guys? Let me know in the comments box below of uh, Slavin's little invention here. Maybe it's better to use the drill machine. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Going, what's, what's going on here is um, the head's been rounded here. Okay, there are ways to get this out, as some of you may know, but this is porcelain, so this can uh, crack quite easily. So we'll be very careful of how we how we solve this this problem. So uh, uh, Slavin has just gone now to check to see what tools he's got available to help do this job. In the meantime, you can see he's cut all the silicone here. So once that's bolt out, that should be able to just twist the toilet completely off. And then he'll be able to um, take apart the, the insides of the toilet. As Pleasy mentioned, uh, the motor and the, the macerator, the impeller, whatever you want. Okay, flap. It's fire, it's true, true color. So no problem. Great. Isolated. 
So guys, for your information, uh, Slavin has already isolated the electricity that's going to this toilet, and he's also isolated the fresh water also yeah. coming to the toilet, so it's all off, so don't worry, he won't get a little zap, or we hope not. <laughs> May I have some blue tape, please? Blue tape, yeah. One small piece just to be glue it here for any safety to not. And that is the motor, and inside you have the macerator. This will be where the macerator is, and this is the motor powering the macerator. No, this is capacitor. Capacitor, motor, motor macerator. Macerator is this under the black. Yeah, exactly. So we're yeah. going to open all this up. We'll take it to the workbench. In so basically, when we flush the toilet, then all the dirty water goes through there. So it goes through here, comes around down here, goes into the macerator, which is this black piece of plastic here with the screws on. It's all macerated up and then it comes out this pipe here and then into the uh, gray and black tank. Also inside of here, it's no return valve. No return valve, okay. So if uh, this no return valve was broken, macerator cannot work it can all all the way it will accept the water but not sending out yeah okay understood okay. so i will now open i will put like this we take off the hose okay i have this screwdriver for extra job we're not using for easier This pipe, it's clean, yeah. but also if this small bridge, yes, it's for for vacuum, if blocked, macerator cannot work. So what is so what does the bridge do? It's for uh, this is overflow channel. Okay. So when coming uh, the dirty water, water, dirty water inside, yeah. and coming full, till to macerator no 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 starting to work. This this water must be circulating. Ah, okay, I see. All right. So we will check. That's one. I will take off also this. Will be easy. This is the non-return non-return non flap. When water coming from macerator go to black water to not coming back and this is flat if this broken and start leaking macerator no 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 working okay so that looks good yeah. from visual inspection so, so now what Slam is going to do i'm guessing you're going to remove these these phillips four, screws here phillips, phillips, and take out take out to inspect So the moment of truth. Ah, this came out. Yeah. This can be a problem. This is some something falling down inside. Inside the toilet. But the macerator itself actually no, looks this quite is clean. Impeller. This yeah. is impeller. Macerator is this. Ah, uh, yeah. So that's what chops. That's 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 what they chops. Chops the paper, paper and all and the everything. all the crap yeah. down. Because how impeller turning, yeah. Then they passing and they cutting this, this like, like, like knives. So those are basically like four blades. You can see one, two, three, four. As Islam was saying, as that rotates, any of the you know any of the crap or paper that's there is turning and then running against these blades, cutting it all up. But one thing we found in there is that white piece of plastic. I'll show that and we have no idea what that's from they're falling down in the toilet yeah 
So I won't touch it, but there you go. It's just a, I don't know what it is. It looks like um, a screw cover or something. It's possible. Anyway, that shouldn't, that shouldn't be in there. So luckily we opened it up. We've removed this. This was the problem that caused the issue. Do a visual inspection, quick clean up. And then uh, what Slavin will then do, he's going to just check, make sure he's happy with everything. And rotor, then he... rotor is good. No, no have any stacks, no have any movement up, down, left, right, axial. Or... The bearing's good. Bearing's good, so the gasket, this is the gasket. Yeah. It's white, like silicone. So you can see here, it's that's the gasket there. What I clean now, it's good, not damaged. So we can put it this back. So what Slam's going to do now, he's basically going to clean it up, check everything, and then he's going to screw it all back on and then reinstall it back in the toilet and hopefully that will work. Anyway guys, it goes further to, to show the, the, the level of engineering that goes into a boat. A simple thing as a toilet is this complex. So you can imagine all the other systems on board. It's not like your toilet system at home or your lights at home. There's a lot that goes into it, a lot of planning, a lot of thinking, and the technician or the chief engineer needs to have the ability or the capabilities to have a, a, a understanding of all the systems on board and to a level where they can be where they can be repaired or at least kind of maintained until the boat's in the shipyard for any big overhauls or big repairs that need to be done. So there's a little further insight for you what goes on behind the scenes from the chief engineer's point of view and um, just to show it, it's not all glamorous and luxurious there's a lot of dirty work that happens behind the scenes so guys uh, if you like that video please click that like button don't forget to subscribe uh, if you have any questions for Slavin or for myself or for any of the team please do so in the comments box below and I do tend to answer all questions within reason and if I can't answer the question I'll pass it on to Slavin he'll be happy to answer any questions in future videos but for Slavin and I, it's, uh, it's goodbye. Slavin, thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll see you guys next video. Ciao.